That's right, it's a sports, sports, sports and more sports. And for our first round action, well, we're heading down to the water for a bit of surfing. Although I gather the surf's not exactly pumping. But that's not going to stop Kate. Hi, I'm Kate and I'm a kite surfing instructor. And I'm going to show you how kite surfing's done. Kite surfing is an extreme water sport that's been around for about 15 years. It's a bit like a cross between surfing and paragliding as it involves moving across the water on a board under the power of the wind, which the rider captures in a sail-like kite. Now, for good kite surfing, the minimum wind speed us kite surfers get out in is about 10 knots or 18 kilometers per hour. And at the other end of the scale, winds over 25 knots are too strong, except for the most advanced surfers. Ideal conditions are 12 to 20 knot winds blowing onshore at an angle to the coast. Now, that's enough talking about the weather. Why don't we check out the equipment that kite surfers use, starting with the boards that we ride. Kite surfing boards are smaller than surfboards and come with or without foot bindings and in a range of sizes and shapes to suit the different styles of kite surfing. For example, this twin tip board has two pointed ends and four fins and it's the type most kite surfers learn on. While this wave board has one pointy end and three fins, and it's great for surfing on waves. Next up, here's a harness that we wear, and it's connected by a loop to the bar. The bar is what we hang onto as we ride, and it's connected by long lines to the kite. Kites are made from lightweight fabric, and they range from three meters up to 20 meters across. Many have an inflatable leading edge and three or more inflatable struts, which give them a fixed crescent shape. They're designed to catch the breeze, even if there's not much wind about, and to withstand pretty strong winds when they need to. OK, so next up, to get going, you need to do what's called a water start, and this is how it's done. You dive your kite in the direction you want to ride, so it fills with wind and pulls you up and out of the water. Once you're surfing, you can speed up by pulling the bar towards you, which causes the kite to catch more wind and give you more power. And to slow down, you push against the water with the bottom edge of your board, and you push the bar away from you, so the power is taken out of your sail. Now you've seen how to speed up and slow down, I'm going to show you a turn or two. To turn, you need to slow your speed, then redirect your board and kite in the direction you want to go. Then head downwind, which will help you pick up speed, and then you can go back the way you came. Now you've seen the kite surfing basics, I reckon it's time you saw a trick or two. Now here's a few jumps with a few grabs. And there's heaps of variations on these, and they all take a long time to learn. So you can see whether the surf's up or not, kite surfers can hit the water and have fun. <laughs> 